today we're going to talk about the best bundles that you can purchase in rise of kingdoms to give you the most amount of value for the money that you're spending also stay tuned because we're going to talk about why you should never make a purchase in the official rise of kingdoms pc application what's going on guys cheers now for the past few days we've had the recharge rewards available here in rise of kingdoms and i've had people ask me sort of what are the bundles that i purchase for the recharge rewards and on top of that what are some of just the best bundles that you can buy for what you're spending in the game if you're a new player you probably have no idea which one of these bundles would give you the most advantage because there's so many of them they have so many different things in them they have so many different tiers a five dollar tier a ten dollar tier a twenty dollar tier and then there's holiday bundles that come around for a limited time and then there's the daily offers and then there's the resource bundle and there's so many things there's the growth fund the supply depot there's a ton of ways to spend money in the game right and so it's really easy to get confused as to where should you as a player be spending so that way you benefit the most now the first thing I want to talk about is how much money you should be spending on rise of kingdoms as a player of a free to play game that value depends completely on the individual i can't sit here and say you should be spending this amount per month or that this is the total spend you should have for your account to be good that's not the case at all a majority of you guys probably shouldn't spend anything on rise of kingdoms because again it's just a free to play game everything that you're purchasing in this game is a temporary advantage and will only exist for as long as the game exists it's not the same as buying a pack of pokemon cards or a video game or a phone these things are tangible that you will keep forever speed ups in rise of kingdoms not only are used and are then gone but also will eventually be gone once the game is taken offline and that could be in five years 10 years 15 years who knows but my point is every purchase in this game is temporary okay so keep that in mind when you're spending money here and only spend what you can and not what you feel like you must spend in order to compete because the reality is that there's always going to be somebody who spends more money than you focus on saving your money okay focus on investing in stocks right now right now stocks are really cheap this is a great time for you to get into the stock market because stocks have gone down so much think about your retirement think about your future family those are things that you should be saving for okay and once all of that is taken care of or at least you've considered it and you've put a little bit of money there okay then you should consider spending on a mobile game because let's face it even if this game isn't a priority it's still fun okay the game is still fun and it brings tons of hours of entertainment and value to you and to me which is why i spend money in rise of kingdoms but that doesn't mean everybody should so ask yourself how much is entertainment worth to you and that's how much you should spend after your priorities are settled okay the next thing i want to talk about is recharge rewards okay this is a great time to spend money in rise of kingdoms if you typically don't and only want to spend when you get the most amount of value why is this because every single day if you recharge 2500 gems per day then you get an extra bonus chest and these chests have really good stuff in them day two day four and day five always come with 10 legendary commander sculptures for as far as I can remember and that's great that's 30 legendary commander sculptures for a relatively low investment now in order to claim each day you have to have purchased the day before and you have to complete all five days of purchase before the timer runs out so if for me there's only three days left there's no way for me to get the uh the, the fifth day here so like if for me it wouldn't be worth it on this account but I'm just saying for you you want to maximize all of these days if you're going to make a purchase during this time period now this has to be a recharge gem amount if you purchase what is known as a pop-up bundle you're going to get gems in the form of items in your inventory and these do not count towards your recharge if i use these 400 gems you'll see i gain 400 gems but then if i go over to the recharge rewards i still have zero recharged for the day so any bundle that pops up that is timed so that is fate changers that is writer of history right those types of bundles do not count towards recharge rewards so please keep that in mind also if you go over the 2500 gems it does not count for the next day so you can't make a bunch of purchases on day one and then each of these will unlock over time that's not how it works you have to make a new purchase every single day after reset okay so with all of that being said where should you actually spend like what bundles should you actually buy if you're interested in spending money in rise of kingdoms okay and the first few things that i would recommend actually are not super value bundles i would actually recommend 
for most players the growth fund is probably the best value for the amount of money that you're spending because you're getting an insane amount of gems here okay hitting city hall level 25 is something that you know if you're a long-term player of the game you're going to do that eventually which means you are guaranteed to at least get everything here right and the lot the last reward is 40,000 gems that's a ton of gems getting all of the gems from the growth fund all at once is basically enough gems in order to spin the wheel of fortune to 100 if i remember correctly if not it's very very close to doing so and that's very crucial because 100 spins is really good value you get a ton of great sculptures here so keep that in mind the growth fund is probably the best place to spend in rise of kingdoms now i know this is slightly different than what we were talking about with the recharge rewards this doesn't really apply to the recharge rewards so keep that in mind we're just talking about value here moving on though the 30 day gem supply is another extremely good value for your money you spend ten dollars and you get 20,000 gems over time so that's over the course of 30 days um so as long as you're going to play and log in every day you're going to get the most value out of the 30 day gem supply now it is worth noting that the 30 day gem supply does actually count towards your recharge rewards so if you're getting low on your 30 day gem supply you can purchase that as a 2200 gem recharge towards the recharge rewards and the 30 day gem supply sort of uh they're, they're additive right so let's say you still have five days left and you purchase a 30 day gem supply you now have 35 days left so you can continue to purchase the 30 day gem supply and increase the duration with which you're going to obtain gems so even if your 30 day gem supply isn't over just yet if it will be within the next couple of days perhaps this is a good time during a recharge rewards to purchase the 30 day gem supply because then you only need to recharge 300 more gems for that day in order to get the uh, the rewards for the recharge rewards and you can easily accomplish that by purchasing the daily special offer right you could spend 199 get the treasure of wisdom and boom you're good to go so if you've already bought the growth fund and you already have the 30 day gem supply and you're still looking for places to spend money then we can start to talk about some of the super value bundles because the gem store is a scam you should never ever 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 spend money here I, I just I don't see the reason to if you're spending money here it means that you need a ton of gems right away which means you probably didn't plan appropriately for a wheel of fortune or or like an egg event or something like that so as long as you're planning appropriately for your spending you probably will you'll just never need this this lump sum of gems it's just not a good value so which of the super value bundles should you be purchasing well what i would recommend first is look to see if there is a holiday event right now we have the beautiful collection event this is for i guess the museum event that we have right now and typically the holiday events um give you some of the best value in the game far and beyond the super value bundles that you normally have access to and these holiday events typically co typically come around uh every other month if i'm not mistaken um it depends obviously you know you have extra holiday events near the end of the year because you have halloween thanksgiving christmas and you have new year's so there's a ton of things right there and then in february you have valentine's day so that time of year typically there's a lot more to spend on but throughout you know there's going to be a summer event a spring event there's going to be a fall event so there's always something coming around the corner so keep in mind if you don't see a holiday event right now and you don't remember having one recently there's probably going to be one coming up and typically lilith will announce when there's going to be holiday events in their in their mails okay so pay attention to that because the holiday bundles uh are definitely some of the best value that you can get in rise of kingdoms specifically because of whatever the holiday event uh, items are typically you can exchange them um for some number of legendary commander sculptures right that's really where the value is for the holiday event bundles and realistically legendary commander sculptures are one of the biggest bottlenecks for progression in rise of kingdoms right over time eventually you're going to get to max city hall you're eventually going to get tier five units um but you're not guaranteed uh legendary commander sculptures unless you have a certain vip level and even then that's a very slow and small amount over time so that's what makes the value so high for these uh these these holiday bundles is that you get those sculptures and keep in mind this has multiple tiers you can spend a few hundred dollars on just the holiday bundles alone on top of the growth fund and the supply depot um most players should stop here right that's pretty much it for most players spending a few hundred dollars every other month on rise of kingdoms is a is, that, that's that's a lot of money for uh for entertainment right okay so that's pretty much where you know if you're a low spender that's it you should only be spending on holiday events that come around once in a while 
and on the growth fund and supply depot that's pretty much it the 30-day gem supply is what i meant to say however i do recognize that there are other places you can get value in rise of kingdoms so let's go ahead and talk about that now beyond the holiday events king's coronation is definitely the best super value bundle that you can purchase okay and that's why you see a lifetime pur purchase limit of one you can only max purchase this bundle one time whereas a lot of the other bundles in here pretty much every bundle in here you can buy multiple times um it's great value you get more speed ups here than pretty much any other bundle that i can think of uh and you get a ton of gems and, and all that stuff so this is definitely a good place to spend um you also get a lot of stone here as well which you're going to need to level up your city hall and your wall so King's coordination great place to spend if there's no holiday bundle around and again you can only buy this once so if you want to I would say go ahead and do it um and, and we're right now this is my farm account which is why you don't see me having this purchase on my main account I did max purchase this as well next I want to talk about the 30-day research speed up supply this is actually pretty good value if you don't have tier 5 units yet and that's what you're focusing on so if you already have tier 5 units obviously you don't want to buy this okay this is only for those of you who are pushing for tier 5 units maybe you want to time your tier 5 upgrade with a, a, a mightiest governor event or something like that so you can push a ton of power and gain those sculptures from there this um stacking these items these these research items and saving them over time uh to use all at once for mightiest governor is probably a really good strategy and definitely a, a good value here for 14.99 this is another 30-day thing that you obtain over time so keep that in mind as well you do have to wait to get the maximum value out of that moving on we do have the growth booster now this is a timed bundle that comes around once in a while um i personally have never purchased this because they implemented this into the game after i've already started playing okay so this i never really needed uh, it gives you a ton of speed ups and some resources this is decent value if you're again you're still pushing for tier five you're still pushing to max your city hall the growth booster is decent value probably slightly better value than you would see from your standard super value bundle next let's talk about the daily special offer this is a really good value if you're just looking to spend a couple of dollars and you really need to get the commander that's listed here okay now if you guys didn't know this list of commanders does change over time so if you're a brand new player and you're wondering how I'm able to like get Attila and Takeda here for the super value bundle it's because these this expands as your account gets older okay so keep that in mind um but for most players you're going to be looking to purchase Isong A from from this list okay Isong is by far and away the best and most versatile commander for the daily special offer and the fact that you have the opportunity to get anywhere from one to let's say 15 or 18 uh sculptures per day four or five dollars is good value um keep in mind a majority of the time you're only going to get one sculpture okay a majority of the time or i should say a majority of the time you'll get three or less sculptures okay so you're not going to get very many sculptures of uh, a legendary from this but it is one of the only ways that you can get legendary sculptures for such a low price okay so this is an extremely good value um you get a golden key you get some resources uh and this is also per dollar spent the best way to get vip points okay if what you're looking for is a ton of vip points then buying the super uh sorry the daily special offer every single day is going to be the best way to get vip points per dollar okay so keep that in mind a lot of you guys are pushing for vip 10 vip 13 14 whatever it is um this is where you want to go okay this is going to be the best place to get vip all right i've already given you guys a ton of options for good value for spending in rise of kingdoms so if you're at this portion of the video you're probably pushing into the mid spender area or your account is very young and you really just want to get to max city hall and t5 before reducing your spending if that's the case then there's a couple of bundles here that are worth it okay um one thing to note is that if you don't have city hall 25 and you've already considered and or purchased everything i've talked about prior to this then the city of hope bundle is what you want to get okay the city of hope bundle is just going to give you a ton of building speed ups and there's only one reason you would want those and that's to push to city hall 25. beyond that if you've already maxed city hall 25 but you haven't gotten tier 5 yet then fountain of wisdom is going to be your best option again assuming you've already purchased everything we've talked about here before or you know if there is no holiday going on right now and you really want to push for it or something like that fountain of wisdom is going to be your best option now i would say compared to everything else we've talked about fountain of wisdom and city of hope aren't they're not very good value okay they're not very good value they're just simply the best value you could get 
in the event that you need what they give you and you've already purchased everything else that we've talked about or they're not available at the time next i want to talk about the call of the ancients uh bundle which currently is not in my game right now shout out to dragothian for this i think this was a thumbnail of one of his videos a long time ago uh, i just googled call of the ancients and this is what came up the call of the ancients bundle comes around i think every two weeks basically whenever arc of osiris comes around and this is actually an incredibly good value bundle if you are fighting a ton in kvk or i guess in arc although i wouldn't really recommend using a ton of speed ups in arc but anyway you could do that um the value is only here if you're going to use the healing speed ups okay so again you really need to value those healing speed ups a ton if you're at the point in kvk where you're using universal speed ups to heal your hospital this is an incredibly good bundle for you but again that is only if you've already hit t5 you've already your, your account is in late game okay that's when you would buy call of the ancients and call of the ancients sort of makes the war machine bundle not very worth it unless you don't value the healing speed ups at all in which case the war machine bundle is better obviously because still training speed ups which i guess you would prefer okay now we're getting into like the late game whale bundles um this is where we talk about geared up okay geared up is you know if you already have a ton of commanders that you have maxed out you already have t5 you already have everything that you need and all that you care about is equipment now then you have no choice but to buy the geared up bundle and or there are some uh timed bundles or monthly bundles sometimes it's the monthly bundle where it'll let you either choose uh materials and uh, crystal keys or it'll uh, you know there will be a bundle that shows up that will just give you this stuff that would be a better value than this one um otherwise if it's if that if it's not the monthly bundle season then geared up is your only regular daily super value bundle that you should purchase um bumper harvest is like literally if you just need a ton of resources and you want gems or if you don't care about gems and only want resources then you can go for the special resource bundle this is for like omega whales okay we're talking about krakens at this point okay pretty much nobody should be buying the special resource bundle like it's just you need to be you need to have like maxed everything and all you care about is like fighting in kvk and, and you already have a ton of speed ups because you've already spent thousands of dollars this month okay that's like the only time you should buy that um furthermore new world is a weird bundle because you only ever would buy this one for the passport pages if you need passport pages you have no choice but to buy this bundle so i can't really talk about the value here because again it is invaluable to be able to leave your server and go somewhere else so you know th this this uh this bundle is something that maybe you want to buy occasionally just in case your kvk uh, or your kingdom loses a few kvks and it collapses and everyone leaves at least you have a couple of new world bundles with password pages saved up that's something you could do and this is definitely a place where if you buy the 499 and the 999 bundles you'll get three passport pages total and that will count towards your recharge rewards and then you basically can just save those passport pages for the day when the day comes eventually that you may have to leave your kingdom it happens to the best of us trust me okay now let's talk about bundles that are timed pop-up bundles that don't count towards recharge rewards but are absolutely worth it if you're spending money at the time that they show up obviously the writer of history is the best uh bundle that you can purchase in rise of kingdoms i don't know why this screenshot shows it as 7.99 um maybe this isn't us dollars maybe this is some other currency but this is a 4.99 bundle if you live in the united states and it's a comparable value pretty much everywhere else but for five dollars you get 10 legendary commander sculptures and that is insanely good value um every single time that this shows up you should purchase it if you're not a free-to-play player basically even low spenders should buy this for five dollars like if this is the only five dollars you spend every month on rise of kingdoms it should be this one because it's just so much value here beyond 30 day gem supply okay that's like maybe the only exception right error of history insanely good value i buy it every single time it shows up regardless um sometimes you want to summon legendaries just to buy this bundle if you are uh, an addict like me okay next let's talk about fate changer okay this is actually a really good bundle um a really good value for you if you need what it offers okay so essentially this bundle pops up when you take significant troop losses in the game so whether your city gets zeroed or you're in just you you've put like five t5 armies into a flag and you take a massive rally on your own you may get a fate changer bundle pop up and in the early game fate changers range anywhere from like a dollar to twenty dollars they're relatively inexpensive um but that's typically not when you want to buy a fate changer 
in the late game you get fifty dollar and a hundred dollar fate changer bundles that do show up and again these are very good value if you care about the healing speed ups that's the only time that you should buy a uh, fate changer is if you need the training and healing speed ups the benefit of fate changer even though it doesn't count towards recharge rewards is that you don't have to buy the five dollar ten dollar twenty dollar and fifty dollar bundle in order to get the twenty five thousand gems that you get here okay so that's one of the downsides of the super value bundle is that in order to get twenty five thousand gems from the hundred dollar purchase you have to buy all the bundles before that Fate changer is not the case. You can just straight up buy the hundred dollar bundle and boom, you get 25,000 gems. So if what you want is gems right away and you don't mind these speed ups, this is good value. But again, most players shouldn't be buying fate changer bundles because we've talked about a ton of other places where you could buy better value. There's also the vanquisher bundle. Um, this bundle shows up when you combine blueprints for a new legendary piece of equipment that you've never gotten before. So this is basically the equipment version of the writer of history and i would say its value is comparable i buy this every time i see it because you get four legendary material choice chests which is just incredibly good value and you get some gems too so why not um these legendary materials very hard to come by just like legendary commander sculptures so this is again for me a no-brainer purchase every time i see it and for most low spenders this would be a great place to buy but again it doesn't count towards your recharge rewards and you know it, it only pops up every once in a while when you get a new legendary piece so keep that in mind okay i guess the last thing i want to talk about is lucerne scrolls okay this is sort of like the battle pass purchase that you can make in rise of kingdoms okay there's a free tier there's also a paid tier and the paid tier is far better than the free tier now they did actually make the free tier a lot better these days than it used to be back in the day after like the 30s or something you just would get nothing for the rest of it so you actually get some pretty good value for free to play players regardless but you have two bundle options here you can either get the five dollar bundle which unlocks the premium tier or you get a 20 dollar bundle that will give you 50 percent more for completing the challenges and you get 10 levels instantly now what i recommend for most players is if you want to spend money here do the five dollar bundle as long as you know you can complete all the challenges for all the weeks if you look at the bottom here you'll see how many days are left for this season um if there's only a couple of days left and you know you can't finish this regardless of the purchase then don't buy it it's not worth it only buy this if you know you can get to the max level and you'll always get um a, a legendary piece of equipment here i think it's always been one of the pieces that shows up in the gold or in the crystal keys i don't think i've ever seen like an accessory here or like a, a set piece or um a, a weapon have we seen a weapon here i don't think so it's pretty much always going to be um one of the more common legendaries if that makes sense but nonetheless it's still a legendary um blueprints so that's good to know and most of the stuff here for most players you're going to find value at some point in so you know maybe you don't value the resources too much here but there are some some uh gems there's some gold keys there's a couple legendary commander sculptures there's some cosmetics here um and you know most of the stuff eventually you will find uh some value for it and this comes around every month there's a there's a new loose scrolls which is a decent five dollar purchase i suppose now obviously i haven't covered every bundle in the game there are pop-up bundles for certain city hall milestones which again are good value but only if you're like pushing for tier uh tier five or city hall 25 in the early game and those eventually go away and then you can't get them anymore obviously you have the returning gifts bundles there's tons of bundles in the game but i think at the at this point i've covered every bundle that's worth purchasing and then some okay most bundles in this game are not worth purchasing for a majority of players and again I would stick to the first few things that I recommended in this video. Anything beyond that is uh, is starting to enter bigger spe uh, spending territory, which most players just shouldn't be for a mobile game that's offering temporary rewards. Okay, now let's talk about why you should never make a purchase in the Rise of Kingdoms official PC program. Okay, here we are. This is the beautiful collection bundle. It's $4.99, and I have the choice of using Visa, Mastercard, or PayPal. And this may change depending on your region it's my understanding that most regions only have these three options and this 499 bundle costs the same no matter where i buy it so whether or not i buy it on my iphone or if i buy it on a samsung or android device or the huawei app gallery or whatever the case is it's always going to be 499 okay so it's not that they're charging you more money within the pc client of rise of kingdoms the downside is that you're not getting any of the benefits of making this purchase through an app store that you normally would expect a much better place to spend in rise of kingdoms is the google play store because depending on your country you will get google play points these points can then be used to redeem google play credits 
and this credit is equivalent to money that you can use in rise of kingdoms or any other mobile game or app or anything like that so for example i have 138 points right here i could redeem that for one dollar of credit which means that if i go to buy a five dollar bundle right now it's only going to charge my card four dollars and you accumulate these points by making purchases in the game and you also get perks here where you get to claim prizes i believe it's every single week and these prizes will give you a random number of play points absolutely for free there's been times where i've gotten 200 play points just by clicking claim right that's two dollars that i get for free just by claiming my prize that i get every single week so essentially what i'm saying is that no matter where you buy the bundles it's the same price but with the Google Play Store, not only do you get Google Play points, which means future bundles will be cheaper because of the points, but all of the transactions are processed through Google's payment system. Okay. Here you can see, I get seven points for this purchase. And I know that my card is going through Google. So if I have any problems with that transaction, I can reach out to Google support, or I can reach out to my bank and I can sort of dispute that transaction legitimately. Of course, do not refund bundles in the game because you want the stuff for free. You will get banned. Okay. We've talked about this on the channel, but this is a, again, in case you legitimately run into a problem with your purchase at least you know your payment goes through Google if you're making the purchase with the rise of kingdoms official PC app not only do you not get the play points but you also I, I personally don't know who's processing those payments okay I don't know where my card number is going when I type it into that client and it's probably safe right I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt in that when I put my card number into that client into the PC app it's probably safe and secure but I don't know where it is for me Google is a reputable company that I'm familiar with and everybody knows and uses Google, right? So not only um, do I think it's safer and more secure just based on my own judgment, but also you get points for free. Now, if you don't have a mobile device where you have access to the Google Play Store, great news, you can use BlueStacks, which is a free emulator for any mobile game, including Rise of Kingdoms. And as long as you have a Google account, you can download BlueStacks, install Rise of Kingdoms, and you can start to make purchases on blue stacks and get value from the google play store there will be a link in the description below to download blue stacks absolutely for free with rise of kingdoms it's an affiliate link so i benefit from you using my link to download but i'm not sponsored by blue stacks so don't feel compelled to use that link only use it if you want to support the channel okay guys this video has been way longer than i thought it would be but hopefully if you're a new player or you're just starting to look into making purchases for rise of kingdoms that i've given you uh some good insight as to what bundles are are the best value for you again do not spend money in rise of kingdoms that you can't afford to just lose okay that's what's happening the money is just going away you won't have anything tangible other than the fun experience you get from playing the game which again does have value i do value my entertainment so it's up to you how much you want to spend with that being said if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel for more rise of kingdoms videos and also click that bell so you don't miss an upload and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.